How will the universe end? Everybody knows that one day the universe will end. But why and how? If the world goes dark, is it always going to stay dark forever? And how do these physicists come up with these theories? First you have to know that the universe is continuously expanding and the speed of the expansion raises every day and the reason for the expansion is dark energy. Scientists believe that dark energy is causing all this expansion but they really don't know much about it. Until 1998 they thought the universe is like a ball that you throw up and sometime it's supposed to come down again. But now they've noticed that this ball not only is it coming down but it's speeding up and it's getting bigger and bigger. This ball looks like it's mounted to a missile and the speed doesn't slow down. Scientists don't know where this energy is coming from. The more they study dark energy, the less they understand. And that is why it's called dark energy, because they don't know much about it. First time the idea of dark energy came up was Einstein. And back then, he thought it was stupid and didn't make any sense. But now, scientists believe that this energy exists and we have to find out how it works. Let's get back to how the world ends. There's three theories on how the universe will end. First theory, Big Rip. Since day one, the universe has been expanding equally. The way they've noticed this is when you look at far away galaxies, you notice that they're spreading apart and that shows that the universe is equally expanding. And the reason they call it a big rip is that this expansion is speeding up and it's eventually gonna get to a point where it will get so fast that matter can't stick together. The bigger the structure, the sooner it will rip apart. First on the list are the galaxies. They'll get ripped up and fall apart. This expansion will cause stars and black holes to fall apart next. And then it will get smaller and smaller. And then planets will start to rip apart as well. Scientists believe that this expansion will get so fast that it will get faster than the speed of light and this ripping apart will affect smaller and smaller things and at the end, even atoms will fall apart. At that point, staying together doesn't mean anything anymore. Even the atoms are falling apart. But Big Rip doesn't end there. Even the particles inside the atoms can't stay together and they will rip apart as well. At this point, you could pretty much say this is a world of nothing. And the reason for that is when even an atom can't stay together, that means there's nothing. Let's go to the next theory, Big Freeze. In this theory, the universe is pretty much like a cup of tea. When you pour it, it's hot, but when time passes, it slowly gets colder and colder. The more the universe expands, the colder the universe gets. First of all, you have to know that the universe is extremely young. These theories that we're talking about right now are for the far, far future, meaning trillion and trillions of years. But right now, there are way more stars being added to the universe than being taken away.
but eventually it will get to a time where every star will die and there will be a forever darkness. But right here, the universe is not even close to dead, it's just cold and dark. At this point, the black holes are still alive and well. After the universe goes dark, black holes have trillions of years of life left. But their turn will come, and they will eventually die as well. The universe will get to a point where there's nothing going on, and atoms are so exhausted that you could say they're pretty much dead. And that's why it's called Big Freeze. Let's go to the final theory, Big Bounce. This theory says even though the universe is expanding, it will eventually get to a point where it will shrink. Scientists believe the shrinking will bring everything back together and the smaller the universe gets, the higher the temperature will get. And eventually the temps will get so high that atoms can't even stick together anymore. And at this point, everything is falling apart and you could pretty much say there is no matter except black holes. At this point, black holes will come together and get bigger and bigger. And it will get to a point where every single black hole in the universe and it will become one unbelievable black hole. A black hole that contains the mass of the whole universe. And scientists believe that this black hole will shrink so much that it will cause another Big Bang. And that is why it's called Big Bounce. And scientists also believe that this Big Bounce has been happening over and over. Basically, a Big Bang happening, closing up, and another Big Bang happening. But every bounce, takes up to trillion and trillions of years. But in our head it's trillions and trillions of years. This could be in a blink of an eye, but for us it feels this long. Right now, these three theories are the only things that scientists have came up with. I will put all the sources to these theories in the description if you would like to check it out.